sure. Right. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and jump into our topic for this week, which again, uh, aerospace and defense stocks. So we're going to start off with the um, ITA ETF, probably the most popular, um, covering that sector of stocks, which the last time we did the video on aerospace and defense stocks was uh, on March 12th. And that was when we were you know, kind of in the heart of our C wave to the downside off of the February high. And we had noted that there were a lot of those individual charts that, you know, really supported that expectation that price would be coming into a bottom as a primary degree fourth wave once that wave C completed and turning back up in the start to a primary fifth. So for the vast majority um, of those stocks, that still is the case. And for ITA as well. The manner in which ITA has moved up off of that March low, though, it's pretty clearly a three-wave structure, um, as that ABC you see on my chart here. So because of that, um, at least in the case of ITA, it suggests that our primary wave five is going to take shape as an ending diagonal structure. So ABC up for the wave one, now currently pulling back in wave two. Um, so under that expectation, uh, if this is just the A wave down so far, uh, we did dip into the 3A2 retracement, upper end of target support for a corrective pullback as wave two. So technically, minimum expectation for that pullback to be complete has actually been satisfied. And you'll see a couple of these charts, especially LMT, which went, I went over yesterday, um, really looks very convincing that the wave two is already finished there um, and price is already working on the start to wave three and in the case of ita i could view this still as just the a wave down bouncing the wave b and perhaps we get to see wave deeper into our target support region before that wave two does complete so not as convinced on the ita chart at least that we've you know definitive definitively completed that wave two and does have room to still stretch a little bit deeper into that target support region if it wants. All right, moving on to the uh, top holdings of ITA, starting with Boeing, uh, not too surprising there. It has a, a somewhat similar shape, I would say, off of the March low uh, three-wave structure into that June high and um, decent pullback since then. So the, the two options that I'm watching on BA, um, one that matches the ITA chart is this red ABC up for wave one of what will be a larger diagonal structure to the upside with price now working on wave two, in which case it has room for a little bit lower. Or um, an alternative is a even larger leading diagonal start to the wave one. The reason for considering um, the much larger leading diagonal on the Boeing chart is if this is still a primary wave four, which is questionable, I mean, it doesn't necessarily um, have to be a fourth wave with how deep it reached. It's not the most compelling uh, count here as far as how deep that fourth wave reached to you know, say it's very high probability that we will be reversing back up and making a new high from here as the primary wave five. Um, but it's a little bit small if this is an ABC up as the wave one of an ending diagonal for that primary wave five or at least to get it up two targets that high. Uh, in either case though, I mean, there's really no clear indication that the current pullback off of the June high has completed yet, and whether that is the B wave of wave three within that larger leading diagonal in blue, or whether that is the wave two of the larger ending diagonal in red. Both look like they still can see a little bit more near-term downside before either the blue B or the red wave two completes uh, with 150, 40 as initial support as the six wave retracement to the move up from the May low into the June high. That would be possible support for the blue B wave. So, um, you know, especially with price remaining below the high that we saw last week, uh, near-term pressure is to the downside to fill out the rest of either one of those two correct pullbacks. Uh, next up, taking a look at RTX. Um, hourly chart here, a little bit messy because of that split. Uh, only disappears when I take a look at the daily charts. So we'll start with that. 
but so far price has held support where it really needed to for the most immediately bullish interpretation as a one two one two off of our March low, um, if a standard impulse to the upside for the primary wave five. So it does have a somewhat similar kind of three wave shape off of the March low, similar to ITA. But in the case of RTX, I'm willing to consider it as one two one two. It doesn't really fit as well um, as one two one two on the ITA chart. That said, though, you know, if it is one two one two, it really should be turning up from the July low that was currently made so far. We can get a little possible nano five waves up off of that low. Um, as maybe a, a leading diagonal, this would be one two three four and five. But you know, overall, I would say it needs more confirmation. Um, with the alternative being, if it has not put in a bottom and it does roll over below that current July low. A similar larger ABC up wave one of an ending diagonal. This is wave A, B, and we see a C wave back into the target support region for the red wave two. I also think you can get a similar count to uh, <clears throat> the, the larger diagonal you just spoke about on Boeing. True, true, yeah, you could uh, you could count it similar to that as well. I mean, the, the B wave came a lot deeper um, but it, it would be, you know, if, if Boeing's going to do that, it'd be nice if it had a, uh, a friend, a wingman, so to speak. Huh, I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, next up, LMT. So this is the third largest holding of ITA, but, you know, has kind of emerged as what I think is the, um, at least so far, the best looking chart off of the March low. And you know certainly still one of the the larger cap aerospace and defense stocks. Um, so in the case of LMT, we started off initially very strong for the March low into that April high and what looks like um, a five wave structure, and then it got a little bit more muted of a move up from the May low into the June high compared to other things, and then still got that same drop, but. What's more notable is the recent strength that we've seen from LMT to the point where it has moved up high enough off of the July low that this looks convincing as the ABC down into the 382 retracement complete for wave two. And this is now the start to wave three, in which case this should still be the wave one of three. Um, so, so far we're kind of close to a 3A2 extension fib, which is typically the minimum expected target for wave one of three, but the subwaves look a little bit incomplete to me. Let's go to 10 minute here. Um, I mean, at the very least, if we're going to call this a one, two, and maybe this is all of a third, uh, another four and five would at least look a little bit more complete as five waves up. And you could even view this as just wave three of three get two more sets of fourth and fifth waves to the upside before the circle wave one completes. So, I mean, our standard expectation for wave one of three based on Fibonacci pinball is uh, between a 3A2 and 618 extension. So again, we're just reaching the lower end of that range so far. Could continue to subdivide up to the 50 or even 618 before the wave one completes. And then our next opportunity to add to or initiate new positions is the subsequent pullback as wave two of three. And we'll expect a standard 3, 2 to 6, 1, 8 retracement of whatever the size wave one ends up being. So this is a good one to keep an eye on. And I, I think, you know, any pullbacks are, are buying opportunities with the stop underneath the July low here. Moving on to um, TDG. It's another stock that looks like a fourth wave potentially completed into the March low. Uh, in this case, I could view it as um, possible cycle degree fourth instead of primary. But very similar to ITA, the move up since then is, is pretty clearly just a three wave structure. So if starting a larger fifth to the upside, um, in most cases, when we have a three wave structure to the upside of the March low, and it looks like we're you know beginning a large degree fifth, I've been viewing that as an ABC up as wave one of an ending diagonal. It kind of looks like a, well, not quite a B-wave triangle, but um, if this is an ABC up as the wave one, we're pulling back into wave two, similar to ITA, although that did hit its 302 retracement already. 
uh, this is room for a little bit deeper before reaching standard 382-618. So it would be nice to see this still dip a little bit lower um, and at least hit 368.50 before attempting to bottom in this current pullback. Next up is GD, um, another very similar ABC shape to the upside off of the March low as what could be wave one of a larger ending diagonal start to the intermediate degree fifth. And very similar to ITA, we did reach the upper end of target support at the current July low, the 3A2 retracement of that wave one. So technically enough to consider all of wave two complete. And in this case, I mean, compared to some other things, you, you could view this as a, a leading diagonal up as well. It's, it's certainly, I would say, possible that wave two has completed um, into the 3A2 retracement in this case. However, like most things, we are also going to allow for the possibility of a wider flat still. So this bounce being a B wave, and if it does roll over again in wave C, deeper into the target box, then that should take it down to the 50 or 618 retracement next. I'd also wouldn't wouldn't be opposed to the same Boeing and uh, and RTX larger diagonal on this one either. Um, so it could continue up as the C of a third towards 172 to 187, and then get another four or five for an even larger wave of one. Right. My only hesitation with at least viewing that as the primary for RTX and GD is and Boeing what looked like a three wave move here. Um, right. On on RTX and GD it looks more like a five wave move. Agree. Could be a five three five three five leading diagonal up to the one seventy eight region. But then it shouldn't be the the A B start to a third. <laughs> No, 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 I'm saying that you could, instead of being uh, the C of a third, you could just get five up to 172, 178 as the fifth of a leading oh, diagonal. the fifth, gotcha, yep. Um, next up on TDY, this is one that's not really as clearly set up to head substantially higher. Uh, the pullback that we got into the March low on most things looks like a primary degree fourth wave. Here, not quite as convincing as such. Um, looks a little bit more like it's a fourth wave within the smaller degree structure uh, going back to the 2016 low, in which case this is actually a little bit large as a one to start to that. Um, but with that caveat, I would say that it looks pretty good off of the March low and actually has a somewhat similar shape to LMT. Uh, if you're going to view this as five waves up, in, in this case, you could actually, I could go with both, especially if it is going to dip back below the July high, then I would likely view this as the top of five up in A, B, C. But if we count the five up into the April high, similar to LMT, then you can view this as an A, B, C expanded flat and a possible micro five waves up um, from the more recent July low. So it's not something that looks otherwise convincingly bearish to me, like it's strongly set up to head back below the marsh low. It's just the large degree count again. Not quite as clear that we're filling out, say, primary fifth wave off of the marsh low like we see on so many of these other charts. Next up on NOC, um, definitely one of the charts that's been a little bit weaker uh, compared to some other um, charts in the same sector since the high that was made in April. Uh, the initial bounce off of the March low here into that April high, very clearly three waves. Uh, and the pullback so far since that April high also looks like three waves. So if it is able to hold above the July low, then I can view it as a, an A, B, or 1, 2 since March and, and ready to at least fill out a measure move to the upside. Um, but because of the weakness here, I still have the possibility that primary wave four has not completed as an option on my chart, um, which can take it back down into the blue box here between 260 and even as low as 220. But again, that would really only be a consideration for me if we break back below the July low at this point. 
Uh, if it holds above there, we can, for the, at least the time being, err on the side of this being uh, bullish.